Hi guys, Ryan here from the Swim Pro Lab. Going to show you how to simply play back, pause, slow motion, annotate and share from our iPad app. So simply open up the iPad app. You get a series of videos that you made on Pool Deck. So to make those, you simply connect to a camera, record on, record off, just like on your Android or Apple smart devices, re simple record on, record off. I then select the video that I've made. This is quite a big video here. So I'm going to scroll through until I find the point of interest. And there it is, there's my swimmer swimming. So now I can press play onto, the, onto that, my swimmer swims through, and I can grab that and I can frame by frame with my frame by frame, drag it down the bottom here. So you can see I'll go backwards, and then I come forward frame by frame. Now if I find the region of interest here, and I can see the athlete's legs are quite low here, and also his hands seem to swing quite low, I can then turn the annotations button on, I can then draw on the screen, to annotate what's happening here. Okay, say to him, lift his legs up there, lift, uh, proceed through there, and say this leg down here is a problem, etc. That's going to take what I'm drawing, also, it's going to take my voice. I can stop recording and continue on with my analysis to see if there's any more regions of interest, but I'm happy with that. I can then go out to my home screen, I then go to my annotation section. And you can see here, it's a, in a zip file there that's ready to be processed. Now this is a relatively slow iPad. Uh, new iPads are extremely fast in new iPhones. But this one's gonna process that for me. And once it's finished, I can then play it back. Ensure that my sound's turned up. So you can see that plays that back. Then I can come out here I can press the select button, I can select the icon or select the video of interest, I press the share button and then I can share it to any one of my shareable media platforms there. Even save it to my camera reel uh, on my iPad locally. Now remember that these files, you don't have to be connected to the IQ2 to analyse and make annotations on these files. Uh, you can do it any time on the train on the way home or post event. Hope that helps out guys and any questions and inquiries send them through to swimmingcam.com. Thank you.